Hi. Hello, oh, Maggins. Uh, I saw this red Joy-Con drive at GameStop. I thought I'd buy it. I thought it looked cool. The box looks cool. I haven't seen the actual controller. I just noticed a second ago that there were two <laughs> stickers on here. Uh, I think, like, the Switch is so popular now that they're just like, hey, let's start jacking the price up on stuff. That's shame on GameStop. Jeez. $14.99 up to $17.99. We'll just raise the price $3. Anyway, let's open it up and see how it looks. I think that it looks really good on the box. Nothing else in there. Just a plastic clamshell. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Looks kind of crappy, actually. Um, this one's the one that comes with the switch. It's in the non-charging one, not see-through. As you can see. Look at that. Compared to this one. Hmm. Look at all the screw holes in the Power A red one. Um, I didn't really realize it wasn't Nintendo made, but Power A down there. Third party stuff. Packaging made it look more legit. But look at that. Six, seven, eight, ten. Ten screw holes with little black screws in them. On the back of that, the Nintendo one has four much smaller Mm, screw holes. Just four, though. Let's see. This is the charging grip. As you can see, it's see-through on the grips. Um, still just four screw holes, although you can tell there's screws inside of there. I don't know how you'd get to those screws. What the heck? Anyway. The back of it's rubbery. Feels all right. I was thinking it would look better than it does. So, so far, kind of disappointing. When the controller's on it, the controllers have not been in this yet. It didn't slide in as nice. I don't know. Oof. Look at that. It's wider. You see that? I don't know, maybe you can tell there. It's, it's... It's wider. Actually, huh. How's that feel versus... I think maybe in my hands it feels better being wider. Hmm. Interesting. Let's put the color ones on it. These four things is just plastic, clear plastic, and the light shines through there. Kind of a cheap way to do that. Uh, huh, that one slid in easy. It feels, this one's tight. This one's a little loose. I don't know if you can hear that. It's clicking around in there. This one doesn't do that as much. That one's loose. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so on camera, it might look like this red. I'm looking at this cell phone screen. It looks like this red's closer to this, but it's actually pretty different. This looks bad. This does not look very good, in my opinion. But, I don't know. Whatever. That, that doesn't look that great either. It's just this big, empty, blank space. You know, this, the, the Nintendo made ones look better because there's that Nintendo Switch logo in there. It fills up a lot of the negative space on that grip. Hmm. 
I do like the the tiny little bit of extra width though. So it feels okay, but in my opinion looks bad. The rubber grip feels nice and it's a little wider so if you've got big hands then maybe you'll like the way it feels. But probably not so much the way it looks. The the one on the package just looked a lot better. And I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking that this is not actually the same product. I think they made some design changes in the final production run because I'm noticing a couple of things right away. Up in here, this line, that curve looks different. It's like narrow, over, narrower over here than it is here. Might be just the angle the picture's taken, but look at that. It's different. And here, you can tell that red is a different type of plastic than this red, right? But on here, it is that's different. That's just different. Anyway, whatever. Uh, so, <laughs> overall, I don't know. A little disappointed. The color uh, doesn't seem to be the same. It's got this texture. It just looks cheaper. The one on the box doesn't look like it has that texture. It looks like more of a smooth finish or like even a rubberized type of plastic on the red part even but this is like textured looks cheap feels cheap the one on the box is is different the one on the box is better I think uh, and also not cool that GameStop whoop bump the price up on this thing when it used to be $14.99 that sucks so GameStop sucks this thing is Mildly disappointing, I guess. Uh, buy it if you want the Power A Joy Con Comfort Grip for the Nintendo Switch. That's it.